Hey everyone, I've seen a lot of people struggling with Octavian the Militia Captain recently, and so in this video I'm going to give you a full advanced guide for how to beat him very easily. Octavian is found in the Bastion of Dunley, towards the north of the Dunley farmlands. There are mob groups all throughout the Bastion of Dunley, and inside his boss room there is one group of mobs, although they can be killed without aggroing him. One other thing to note with his location is there is very minimal shade in the boss room, and so fighting him in the daytime is not advisable. Looking at the build that we're going to be using for Octavian, starting with the weapon, we're going to be going with slashers, and you'll see why during the fight, but slashers are quite helpful for this fight. However, they aren't needed. Really, any weapon will work for this. It's more based on the abilities about how you take this fight, so you can use whatever weapon you want. I would just suggest slashers as they make things a little bit easier. For your true normal abilities, for one, you're going to use Bloodrite, the initial counter that you get right at the start of the game. And for the other one, you really just want to use your other best defensive ability, like a shield for example. Ward of the Damned works the best, although the Frost Shield and the Chaos Shield will both work just as well. For your ultimate, we won't be using an ultimate, so it really doesn't matter. Now really quick before we actually get into the strategy of how you fight him, I just want to note that there are multiple strategies that can work very well for Octavian. Some are even easier than this strategy I'm going to show you here, however they might rely on certain like high percentage blood types or other conditional factors. So this strategy is going to be one that anybody can use and do fairly easily and quickly. So starting out the fight with Octavian, the number one mistake people make is they try to fight him at ranged. With these defensive abilities, you just go up and you start hitting him with your auto attacks. He's going to use two moves against you. One is a horizontal slash and one is a vertical slash. And basically you just rotate between your defensives and your Q. And if they're all down your space, to address these abilities. So for one slash you use your shield, and then the next slash you use your Q, and then the next slash you use your blood right, etc, etc. One thing to quickly note and be careful of for the vertical slash, if you are using your shield to counter it and you stand too close to it, it can actually go through your shield sometimes, so make sure you just take a little bit of a step back as you're shielding when he does that vertical slash. Once you've done around 20 to 30% of his HP, he'll add in another attack where he yells and then glows a little bit and will start doing these charging attacks. For these, you really don't have to do too much about them. If you're walking perpendicular from where he's charging, it won't hit you, so you basically just circle around with him until he's done using those attacks and then just go right back to auto attacking. Once Octavian gets to around 50% HP, he will add in his next move, which is where he summons the Fire Archers, one for each enemy player. For this, you're going to address it literally the exact same as you would otherwise. Just go to the Archer and start hitting it, and as Octavian uses his attacks, use your counters just as you would otherwise. This might take a little bit of getting used to, but you can use your space a little bit more aggressively than you would just for the previous phase with the normal attacks, but again, you want to save your space if possible. Another thing that really helps out with this phase is you can start using your stealth on your slashers. If you make a mistake and like use two defensives at once, or you're just in a little bit of a pickle, just pop into that stealth and buy yourself a little bit of time. Once Octavian reaches around 30% HP, he'll start using his spin to win attack, and this one is really scary and where most people fail the fight. So, the number one thing to do is to make sure that you save your space as much as possible. Basically, you want to space away as soon as he casts this move, so try not to use it for anything else. If you do use it for something else, just pop into stealth for a while to buy time for it to come back up. Now, when he spins, you want to go to this location that you're seeing on screen where I go here. This is the perfect little location where the blaze won't go through the walls and he won't really be able to hit you when you're here, so you can sort of just hang out here until he's done his spinning attack. To make this easier, again, besides just saving your space, you want to basically fight him near this area, so towards the sort of east of his arena. And what's also helpful is if you go stealth on the slashers, it will give you a little bit of move speed to get here faster, and Octavian won't run directly at you when you use slashers instead he'll go a little bit more randomly okay real quick interjection here as i was editing this i actually found out that if you are fast enough in stealth right when octavian casts his spin to win move it will actually cancel it because he doesn't have a target and so if you have a really good reaction time or low ping you can maybe try this strategy as well of stealthing as soon as he casts it to cancel it and make sure you don't even have to deal with the spin in the first place 
One thing to watch out for is while Octavian won't be able to follow you to that location, any of his summoned archers will. So if there's an archer out when he uses his spin, just make sure you're watching out for that archer to make sure it doesn't surprise you by coming around that wall and shooting you with the fire arrow. So really that's it. The spinning phase is by far where the fight really starts and gets difficult. The number one thing is definitely to make sure you're prepared for it, have your space up ready to go and you're looking for it so you can space away instantly and get to that spot as fast as you possibly can. Once Octavian is slain and his blood is drunk, you get access to the ultimate ability Mirror Strike, in which you dash forward and when you hit an enemy, become invulnerable and hit enemies in a large AoE, for a total of 600% magic damage split between the targets. This also weakens the target's hit by 30% for 5 seconds, and allows you to dash in a target direction when it ends. You also get access to create an anvil, as well as recipes for dark silver ingots, dawn thorn regalia, and dark silver weapons, which are all the next tier of armor and weapons. Now, if you still need a little bit of help with Octavian, the rest of this video will be the full VOD of the no-hit fight that I did against him, so feel free to watch that and try to emulate it.